It's the second most common kind of cancer in men. Other than skin cancer, prostate cancer is what men are most likely to get in their lifetime. But as part of National Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, a local doctor is helping draw attention to the disease. Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller sat down with that physician. Mark? Nick, while prostate cancer is the second most common cancer among men, it's also one of the most treatable. And what a Scranton based doctor wants you to know is that early detection is critical. This is the bladder, and then this is the urethra in a male, but here's the prostate here in relationship to the rectum. So the prostate, a relatively small reproductive organ in men, can potentially become a big concern. And all men will get prostate cancer eventually if you live long enough. Among them, 74-year-old legendary singer Rod Stewart, who last weekend made a stunning announcement. Two years ago, I uh, was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Aww. The disease claims the lives of approximately 30,000 men each year, mainly because it went undetected for too long before revealing troubling symptoms. Difficulty urinating, blood in the urine, kidney failure, bone pain, uh, loss of weight, and prostate cancer when it gets to higher stages, such as stage three or four, the chances of curability or staying without symptomatology is a lot worse. But prostate cancer is 99% treatable through early detection and screening. A blood test for protein-specific antigen, or PSA, is one way. Another is a digital rectal exam in which doctors use a finger to press against the side of the prostate. Dr. Prie demonstrates by using his hand. This is normal. It should be equal and soft and gummy on both sides. And if you feel this, trumps the PSA. If you feel a rock-hard, lumpy area, that would be considered prostate cancer and to prove otherwise. Rod Stewart is one of the many lucky ones. I'm in the clear now. With the health beat in Scranton, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. Now, Dr. Priate says the American Urological Association recommends men get a first assessment of their prostate at age 40. Men 55 and older should get an annual digital rectal exam, PSA test, and overall physical. With the health beat, Mark Killer, Eyewitness News.